So we're looking at double leg attack. Now, uh, for purposes of this drill, I'm gonna have one partner just go square stance. Uh, the other partner in gray shirt, Matt, he's gonna be doing a double leg. When he does a double leg, he's gonna step inside with his lead foot. He's gonna penetrate to his front knee. Okay, he's gonna get his, he keeps his hips and his knee and his shoulder vertically aligned. See, the shoulder, the hips, and the knee are all aligned. What he doesn't wanna do is have his butt back and away. Let's see how that would look. He doesn't wanna be here. Right, so inside knee down, outside knee is up. Notice Matt's in a good, strong position here. Now what Matt's gonna do is he's gonna continue to drive with his legs. And as he drives, he's gonna drive Colin over. He's gonna finish with his head on one side of Colin's body and his legs on the other. Notice Colin's kind of on his back. So if Matt can take a half Nelson, he's gonna take his half Nelson here. Look for the pin. Okay, rewind that position. Notice if Matt would not be on opposite with his head and legs on opposite side. If Matt had his head and his legs on the same side, so he comes over here, this is not nearly as strong because Colin can hip heist and get out of it. Okay, let's see double leg again. Let's just see it from two wrists. Grab two wrists, pinch them together, shoot your double. Boom. Shoot the double, we're driving, we're finishing, we're looking for a half Nelson. Good. Stay in position, rewind, go back to your double. Uh, let's rotate so we're out here in the middle. We can do that. And yeah. If Colin turns away, Colin turns away, what Matt's gonna do is just work up his body, post the elbow, and go to a cross face. Post the elbow, cross face. Now get off to the side, run the head to the knee. Cool. And then switch his hip back over the other way, and then take the cradle back. Okay? Let's see one more double leg, uh, kind of more in a fluid motion. Matt, finish with either a half or a cross face, depending on the reaction. Ready? Go ahead. Double leg, drop, and finish with a half Nelson. Okay? The other thing that can happen on a double leg is you'll get in there and your partner sprawls, your opponent sprawls. So this time, Matt's going to go wrist. He's gonna shoot a double leg, and Colin's gonna sprawl back. So notice Matt's in bad position. Matt, keep your head on the outside. All right, what Matt doesn't wanna do here is Matt doesn't wanna to try to fight two hands against Colin's uh, two legs, because the legs will beat the arms. What Colin's trying to do is stuff Matt's head down. So Matt is in a very weak position now. His arms are extended, he lost his drive, his shoulders are out over his knees. He's really in a bad position in a lot of ways. So to salvage this, what we're gonna do is switch to a single leg. So Matt's simply gonna switch both hands to a single, hop up on his toes, and then turn the corner immediately. Once you turn the corner, you're gonna take your front hand and put it on your partner's knee. Your back hand is gonna to go to his back ankle. And this is what we call backhand reach. And now all Matt has to do is is drive his shoulder into Colin and drive Colin over. Bang. Again, looking for a half Nelson on the finish here. Or a near cradle might have been there too. So looking for back points. Let's see that again. So off the wrists. Let's do it off a of post this time. Post to a double, partner's gonna sprawl. Post to a chop to a double, partner sprawls. Switch to a single, turn the corner, turn the corner, backhand reach and drive through. Okay, double leg options.